Jake put this up, okay? He has helpfully included some working for us. For those of you who can't quite see, because um, it's hard to fit it all on the board. The answer he's arrived at is there you seven odd five. You could have written that as a decimal. How would you write that as a decimal? Anyone? Negative, yeah. Oh, uh, no. Or are you doing something else? Uh, I think so. If we were, we'll come back to you in a second. I'm pretty sure this is negative 1.4. Okay. So if you had that same number, I didn't ask you to provide it in any particular form, which means you can provide it in any form you like. Um, you can see, I won't go through his working because it is all there. But you can see at every step, and he's got, uh, let's see here, I see a step here, a step here, two, three, four, and that's the fifth line, right? Can you see the goal he's working towards, right? He's methodically trying to get, what's the final line? X by itself. We have a fancy name for that. We're st starting with an S. Whatever is that over there, we call it the? We call it the subject of the equation, right? X is the subject of the equation. And so he's wanted to get rid of that three. And then he's wanted to get rid of, uh, what's he trying to do? He's trying to get all of his x's and all of his numerals, the constants together, and it goes down, down, down. So, thumbs up. Okay, now with question two, just a quick show of hands, who got eight on five? Eight over five? Yeah, fantastic, thank you, hands down. I know a lot of you looked at it and just weirded out because it does look unusual, however, one of the strategies that we try and teach you in mathematics is sometimes a problem just is intimidating. But one of the main primary tactics we use is just sort of have a look at the parts of the problem that are small that you can start with. If I have a look at this, the immediate place that my mind goes to is just this guy over here. Do you see that? If you just cover up the rest of the question, I can do that. I can do one plus one, right? Like I know it's early in the morning, but I think I can manage that. Once you deal with that, you pull back a little bit. Right? Uh, this is a half. You can do one plus a half. You can manage that. And then you sort of unfold the question as you go. And it's really not as bad as it looks. Okay. Uh, now, 8 over 5. Again, you could have written that as a decimal. What is it as a decimal? 1.6. 1.6. Now, I just want to point out, before we move on to the last one, you can see there's kind of a pattern here, isn't there? I could have kept going, <laughs> right? Instead of having that final one, I could have written another... 1 over 1 plus, 1 over 1, and it can go on forever. In fact, if it did go on forever, dot, 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 this object has a special mathematical name. It's called phi. Some of you may have heard of it as the golden ratio. It's a really, really important number. We don't have the time to explore it now, but if you're curious, this is one of the cool ways you can get to it. All right, last one, number three. Do we have agreement on this number? Yeah. By the way, if the number has agreement, there's something that we need to add on to it. It's not just the number. Yeah. It's going to be units, right? Because it's a surface area, so it should be square centimeters. Okay? I won't go ahead and solve it because, again, we do have some working here. But in case you can't remember, you don't really have enough measurements on here to solve the whole question, right? You've got to add a few things on. Sorry. So where would you put some constructions onto here? Can anyone suggest where they might put the first additional line? Ryan? Um, 54 divided by 2. Yep, good. So you can see this length along here is 54. But for it to be useful to us, you need to divide it by 2, which gives you 27. Why is that useful? Yeah, Agni. Fantastic. So you can see in here, right in the middle, and this would have been a lot easier if you drew a diagram. Some of you could maybe see it well enough, but I'm the kind of person who needs to be able to draw on something, as you can tell. Okay. So once you've drawn that in, you can see the triangle. You've got uh, this side down here, this side over here. And if you have a look, uh, actually, no, you didn't end up writing it. If you have a look, the next thing I would do is Pythagoras. Okay. Why is that final length over here on the right? Why is that useful? Mm, yeah, Laura. Okay, it's the slant height, right? You already have the perpendicular height. That's no good for surface area. You need the slant height. Once you've got it, off you go. 